ripping west from Maine. The northern border cuts across the continent. A surprisingly accessible and unguarded divide between two close international allies. The American and Canadian frontier spans 5,525 miles, crossing a range of diverse habitats. The inland passages of the Great Lakes and the Boundary Waters. The prairie's sweeping grasslands. The towering peaks of the Rocky Mountains. Ultimately, the line touches three oceans. In the west, between Washington and British Columbia, the border bisects the foothills of the Cascade Mountains. In late fall, the clear cut offers an unobstructed flyway for hunters seeking opportunity. Today, the slash has eyes. This red-tailed hawk is a hungry traveler. She's left Canadian summer breeding grounds to winter south of the border. The slash offers plenty of prey and an unobstructed view to her hunting ground below. Late fall has this meadow vole in overdrive. For her, the border is just a clearing, a grassy strip where she can find a meal. Ranging under cover and underground, she gorges on grains, seeds, and the last succulent greens of the season. Few voles live more than 10 months, and this one's time on the border may be even shorter. The vole's foraging draws the hawk's eye. A bite of vole is a critical dose of protein for the long distance traveler. Soon, the hawk will fly farther south, leaving these rich border hunting grounds before winter closes in.